Narcissists are 100% done with you forever after they do this. Have you ever wondered if a narcissist can truly care about anyone other than themselves? Perhaps it's possible, but it's certainly not in the way we typically understand what care and love mean. When a narcissist has moved on from you, it's going to be apparent in how they treat the relationship, and inevitably, how they treat you. The intimacy that once existed between you will be gone, replaced with an unsettling void. The core problem that all narcissists struggle with is intimacy. The natural libido that we all experience as human beings has no place for them anymore. Instead, anger, resentment, and hate take over. To someone who isn't wrapped up in the narcissistic mindset, this may seem utterly strange. After all, we are wired to gravitate towards love, care, and affection to form healthy bonds with one another. But for narcissists, they thrive on taking advantage of others who still prioritize those loving and caring motives. That's why the world is currently grappling with such an overwhelming occurrence of narcissism. But how did the narcissist become that way? The answer lies in the terrible things that the narcissist experienced in their early childhood, likely trauma, abandonment, or emotional neglect. They'd adopted a cruel and vindictive personality as a tool to survive, leading to the twisted individuals we know today. It's a deeply saddening situation. So, have you ever noticed that a narcissist is trying to mimic you in the beginning? They start by mirroring your actions and behaviors, pretending to show you love and affection. It's unsettling because they could copy even your strangest habits. Think about it, in a healthy relationship, people have their quirks and preferences that make them unique individuals. Yet, the narcissist seems like a copycat version of you. I even used to call my ex a mirror of me. However, this fake intimacy is short-lived, and eventually, they can't keep up the pretense. When this happens, it should be a red flag that their true nature is emerging. But why can't a narcissist have a real, genuine connection with someone? Because the natural energy and strength people get from love and affection are replaced with hate and anger for the narcissist. And as soon as the intimacy gets cut off, they lash out, feeling confident that they've hooked you. This is when the trauma bond becomes dangerous. You start questioning whether the narcissist ever really loved you. It all starts to feel like one big lie. However, if you can remember that this person was pretending all along and is incapable of reciprocating actual love, you'll avoid getting stuck in a toxic cycle of seeking love from someone who can't give it. Once they're done with you, the narcissist has already moved on to someone new or is already texting a few others on the side. It's like they're always on the hunt, always trying to get their fix. It's a vicious cycle that doesn't reflect how normal people seek love and connection in their lives. It's easy to use extreme language and paint all narcissists as demons, but that kind of thinking is dismissive and unhelpful. When we do this, we're no better than the narcissists themselves, who label us as bad people to justify their wrongdoings. It's essential to have a nuanced understanding of the situation. It could be that we're seeking love in unhealthy ways or exhibiting codependent tendencies. This isn't to say that we're necessarily bad people, but it's important to take responsibility for our actions and work towards self-improvement. One of the hardest realizations is that the intimacy we experienced with the narcissist was never genuine. It's unsettling to think that we were living a lie, but we were too clouded by our love for them to see the red flags. It's only through introspection that we can identify why we got stuck in these toxic relationships. By doing the work to better ourselves, we can move forward and pursue genuine connections with people who can reciprocate our love and affection. It's tempting to blame others for our problems, but ultimately, that's not a healthy way to live. Instead, we need to take an honest look at ourselves and identify the areas where we can improve. Only then can we break free from the cycle of seeking out toxic relationships and start to live the life we deserve. In conclusion, navigating a relationship with a narcissist can be the most confusing experience. They often mirror us at the beginning, leading us to believe that they are everything we've been looking for. But eventually, their true colors emerge, and we're left to deal with the aftermath of their emotional manipulation. It's easy to blame the narcissist, but that kind of thinking is not helpful at all. By taking responsibility for our actions, seeking self-improvement, and understanding why we get caught up in these relationships. 
We can break the cycle and find genuine connections with people who can reciprocate our love and affection. Just notice when the seemingly beautiful love turns into hate and anger, the narcissist is almost done with you because at this point, they may already have someone else. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. With support and self-reflection, you can overcome the trauma bond and start living the life you deserve. So, let's make today the day that we take one step closer to a more peaceful and fulfilling life. Until next time, let the healing begin. So, have you ever wondered about the capacity of a narcissist to feel genuine care and affection towards others? While the possibility can't be completely dismissed, it is not in accordance with our usual interpretations of care and love. If a narcissist has moved on from you, you must pay close attention to how they act towards you and the relationship. As the, early, as the earlier intimacy will be replaced with a hollow void. The problem that all narcissists encounter lies in the fact that their struggles with intimacy cause them to resort to anger, resentment, and hate, when their natural libido experiences no place for them any longer. As human beings, we are drawn towards forming healthy bonds with others by showing love, care, and affection for them. However, narcissists feel comfortable taking advantage of those who still prioritize these innocent emotions. Therefore, we observe an overwhelming abundance of narcissism in the world. This is our today's world. But what is the root cause of this? The source can be tracked back to the painful experiences that narcissists had to face during their early childhood. They develop a cruel or vindictive personality as a mechanism for survival, leading to the twisted individuals that we observe today. Naturally, this is a deeply saddening revelation. So, have you ever noticed how your narcissist appears to intimate you when you begin your relationship? By mirroring your actions and behaviors, they pretend to exhibit care and affection towards you. The nature of it can be very unsettling as they seem to imitate even some of your eccentricities. However, the fake intimacy that one experiences with a narcissist is unfortunately not long-lasting and they eventually fail to keep up the facade. You must be vigilant as the you must be vigilant as this situation should serve as a warning flag that they are beginning to reveal their true character. But why is it possible for narcissists to foster a genuine connection with others? Because they replace the natural energy and figure received from love and affection with anger and hatred. Therefore, as soon as intimacy is not maintained, they immediately fend their emotions, believing that they have managed to hook you. This is why the trauma bond becomes dangerous. You begin to doubt whether they had ever truly loved you. So it is essential to remember that all along they were pretenders and cannot reciprocate love. This will help you avoid getting stuck in a toxic cycle of seeking love from someone who is incapable of giving it. Once a narcissist has concluded things with you, they are already searching for another person or are already texting numerous other candidates on the side. They are always on the lookout, seeking more opportunities to feed their addiction. Since they cannot find the right means for Seeking love and connection like a normal person, it perpetuates their vicious circle of narcissism. It is true that we may be tempted to call all narcissists demons, however that kind of thinking is dismissive and unconstructive. Such thinking causes us to be no better than the narcissists themselves who in turn call us bad people to vindicate their wrongdoing. It is imperative to have a nuanced understanding of the situation. Maybe we seek love in unhealthy ways or exhibit codependent tendencies. This is not to say that we are bad people. Still, we must be accountable for our behaviors and aim to improve. Realizing that our intimacy never genuine can be challenging. Recognizing that we were living a lie can be problematic, but our love for them often blinded those red flags. 
But our love for them often blinded those red flags. Only by looking inward and examining why we got trapped in toxic relationships can we identify the appropriate areas for improvement. Through personal development, we may move on, achieving genuine connections with people who can reciprocate our affection. In conclusion, navigating a relationship with a narcissist is often a mystifying experience. Initially mimicking your behavior as a mirror of you, the narcissist deceives you to believe that they are everything you have ever been looking for. But their true nature is eventually revealed and brings to the surface the aftermath of their emotional domination. However, it is not helpful to blame the narcissist for everything, rather by taking responsibility for our actions, seeking professional development, seeking personal development, and understanding why we get caught up in these relationships, we can liberate ourselves from the cycle and locate actual connections with people who can reciprocate our love and affection. If the beautiful love ultimately leads to anger and hate, know that the narcissist may almost be done with you. That is when you must realize that healing and self-improvement can lead you to the peaceful and fulfilled existence that you rightfully deserve. I think that's all for today's video guys. I hope you find this video informative and if you have anything to say, please